Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Chicago Electric 120 volt vibratory bowl. Okay, so this is a tool that we've been looking to add to our uh, repertoire of tools for our restoration uh, channel. And uh, so we, uh, we finally picked one of these up at uh, Harbor Freight Tool and uh, went on sale. So it was $149 down from a uh, normal price of uh, over $200. So we figured, uh, what uh, what better opportunity than to pick one up? Uh, since we were looking to add one anyway, we saved uh, quite a bit of uh, funds. All right, so we're going to get started with the unboxing and the review of this product. Okay, since this is such a large box, we set it down on the floor. And we're just going to open it up on the top. Is that a uh, handy-dandy razor knife? Okay. We also, uh, we also like to put on a pair of protective gloves when we're opening up uh, boxes. It's very easy, a lot of sharp edges, you don't know what you're going to be dealing with. It's always, it's always a good idea to put on some type of, you know, uh, protective glove. In this case, it's like a rubberized glove, okay? Uh, they're very inexpensive. These are like a dollar, uh, but it really, it really pays, okay? So, cardboard or paper be like a knife sometimes and really really get you good really cut you all right so we're opening this up okay there is a tube here this looks like a drain tube okay set that aside move the uh, hydrofoam or the styrofoam topping okay it's like a nice piece of styrofoam well formed off this protective plastic wrap, set that aside, and then we will actually lift out the unit, and we're going to set that on the table. Okay, let's just check to see if there's anything else in the box. No chance for, uh, for damage in transit, and we've got an instruction pamphlet. Okay, so for now, we're just going to put everything back. All the packing material. Okay, so there you go. We have the unit on uh, our table top side. Okay, and you can see uh, that it is undamaged. Okay. And in very good condition. All the parts appear to be here from the factory. We've got a drain tube. Instructions. You see the power cord on and off switch. A lid. Okay, which we'll just remove for now. Set that aside. Remove the lid. And you can see into the bowl. This is the 18 pound unit, the large unit. Okay, so it's able to hold 18 pounds of media. Okay, this, this bowl is removable, which is convenient. Okay. bowl literally just lifts right off. Set that aside. And now we can get a view of the base. The vibratory base. And that's it. Data tag on the front. Okay, as I pointed out before, there is a, uh, a an outlet here for a, a drain Okay, the unit comes with a drain hose. We will attach that drain hose just like so. Okay, um, for more permanent um, application, I would recommend putting a small uh, hose clamp on there. Okay, now we're at the point uh, where we're going to add the media. Uh, in this case, we opted for walnut shells. Okay. 
and um, the reference guide indicates that you should start by adding two-thirds of the maximum capacity. Okay, so what we've decided, uh, the easiest way to add the media is to remove the bowl, put it on the scale, okay? It weighs three pounds empty, okay? We could hit the tear button, which knocks it down to zero, and we could just add media until it gets to the 12 pounds, which is two thirds the max capacity. Okay, so we put the bowl back on the unit, and now we will. The retaining nut back on. And tighten that down. Okay, so we've got the 12 pounds of media in the unit itself. We've got the unit as per the manufacturer placed on a rubberized mat, okay, I'm sure that's to reduce vibration, okay, so, um, yeah, so we're ready to go. It's, it's uh, other than the 12 pounds of walnut shells, uh, we don't have anything else in here, but we're going to have to test it, uh, you know, empty, and then we are going to place some items in the unit, and then we'll see, uh, see the difference. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Very, very little noise. And keep in mind that this is placed on a table, uh, which is not where we will have it. We'll have it on, on a, a workbench, yeah. which is a lot more solid than a table. Okay, So I think it'll probably end up vibrating less. But as far as the sound, it's uh, not excessive at all. Now we're going to shut it off and we're going to place some objects in the bowl. Okay, so we've got several large objects. Okay, one of the reasons why we, we went with the 18 pound is the, uh, the size of the bowl, okay, as opposed to the 5 pound. The bowl, uh, this has a mouth of 11 inches, okay. Um, and in the center, it's got an overall width of uh, somewhere around 15 to 16 inches. Okay, so uh, you can get objects in there such as this. You can get, this is a pickaxe head. Okay, so this pickaxe head is a good solid 11 and 3 quarter inches long. Okay, so this, this is the type of objects we purchase this for specifically. So... Uh, you'll watch this will just just gobble it right up. Okay, so that's right in there. Okay, now we're gonna drop in here. We've also got this wrench, this uh, this uh, USMC wrench. Okay, that is about eight and a quarter inches long. We're gonna go ahead and drop that in. Along with that wrench, we also have a chrome vanadium Craftsman. Open end wrench, about nine inches long. Right in there. And then we have, last but not least, we have an auger bit, which is about eight and a half inches long total length. Okay, we're just going to drop that in. So, as you can see, we have a lot in this device at this time. Everything is steel. Um, I wouldn't recommend mixing uh, metals, if you will. I wouldn't put steel and brass in here at the same time. Steel and aluminum, aluminum and brass, you know, bronze and anything. You know, I would keep metals to their own kind, if you will. Okay, these are all steel, uh, so I don't think there'll be any issues. So from here, we're just going to put the lid back on. 
rubber washer, steel washer, retaining nut, That's it. I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, so the official start time is 13.30. Um, just a note, it is making quite a bit more noise. That's to be expected. So we open that up just temporarily, just so you can see the action. Okay, here we are. We uh, we ran that for two hours uh, with the walnut shells. We had put several objects in there. Uh, we shut the machine off approximately half an hour ago. Uh, the manufacturer recommends that uh, you don't open up the lid right away. You let the dust settle. That's what we did. Uh, it's a walnut shell, so we let it sit for about a half hour. Um, they're not as detrimental as, say, something like a, an oxide or, or something that's... Uh, uh, like a plastic, okay, for you to breathe in, um, but you shouldn't even breathe in, you know, you should, you, you know, you should, you should try to do your best not to breathe in any type of fumes, uh, any type of dust, okay, it's not a good idea, uh, so like I said, we let that settle for half an hour, now we're going to open that up and pull out the uh, objects that we put in there and see, uh, see what we have. Got here. Search around for the objects. Okay, I feel something. Okay, it's one of the big, large, one of the large wrenches. Oh yeah. Oh yes, excellent. Look at the results on that. Very, very smooth, completely deburred. Uh, I'd say about 90% of the rust is uh, gone, maybe even more. Okay, huge, huge difference. Let's see what else we got in there. I guess I feel something else in there. There we go. The wrench. Oh yeah, this is the Crestman Chrome Vandium wrench. Again, the results are fantastic. Um, I'd say 95% of the rust is 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 gone off of this. So it's very smooth again. Um, very very smooth. Very smooth. Excellent 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 uh, results. Alright, last but not least, we have a drill bit in there, an auger, auger bit, oh, here we go, we found it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. It's like brand new. Okay. And these are, they could be a bear, a real bear to clean. Okay, and this is like brand new. This is basically ready to be uh, finished, sharpened and blued, amazing, excellent. Let me just put the cover back on that. Actually what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the, uh, the two large wrenches, probably go another hour. That way they'll be completely, completely done. That'll be about three hours total. Yeah, 
as you can see from the results, the uh, uh, the results speak for themselves. Um, a little over two hours in the uh, Chicago Electric Vibratory uh, uh, Bowl. Uh, we've got fantastic results. Um, so I uh, I give this five star rating, thumbs up all the way. Um, I think that. This was an excellent purchase for us for our shop. This is going to cut down dramatically on the amount of labor and the time for us to uh, uh, clean up, polish, deburr, de rust um, many of our uh, components, especially small engine parts, small tools, wrenches, uh, blades, things of that nature. Um, so looking forward to additional projects with this, looking forward to adding some, uh, some metal polish in there, uh, to polish up some things, really polish up. I'm looking forward to also doing, uh, uh, some projects with, uh, with media, with liquid, uh, because this is wet or dry. Um, so yeah, so, uh, this is a highly recommended item from us. Uh, I would, I would say that, uh, especially at this price point, um, it's a, um, an, an item, a tool that, that everyone should have in their workshop, small or large. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this, uh, this um, uh, review and uh, test run was, uh, was useful and helpful to you. Yeah, and we appreciate you watching, and uh, have a great day.